What, what is, is up, up you guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Isaiah. My name is Kim. And this is Isaiah and Kim. Yes, so before we even get, even get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell button down below to get notified every single time we upload. And if you want a shout out at the end of each video, make sure to comment down below and hit done or comment something that you wanted to say and we'll read your name at the end of each and every single video. Yes, and it's usually an IK shout. So that's what we call it, we call it IK shouts. Yeah, so um, as, you can, as you guys can see the white title of this, of this video, we're actually doing our first reaction video to the Ace Family's um, uh, The Truth About Our Life documentary part two. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know who the Ace Family is, so you guys, you know, you guys probably are like, oh, you like, yeah. Or if you guys don't know who the Ace Family is, just search them up and hit the Ace Family and they're going to come up. I mean, they're huge. They're a very popular family. And, they're a beautiful family. And this is um, actually our first reaction video, so um, this is actually pretty exciting because we've never done one before. And this video literally um, hit home so, like like literally like it we i can relate yes. to this video that they put up part two so much like and we were going to react to the first part um but we just i don't know what happened but we, were, we wanted to wait for the second part just because it seemed more interesting like it keeps getting more and more interesting it's like a reality show like i love the editing i love how they um are going about everything i love just everything about it i love it love it love it yeah. um, so anyway guys so um, and I'm pretty sure some of you have may have watched part one and let me just say it is part truly, one is extremely motivating it's Truly inspiring. Yes. Um, I mean they went they went uh, over how they started where they started at how fast they have grown and How their family kept growing and their fan base. I mean, it's so inspiring how big they got in just like three years We noticed other youtubers it has taken them a long time and to build that strong fan base I mean it has to feel like a huge accomplishment like you literally have to have something that You catch the attention of many viewers and to catch that many viewers attentions I mean it just has to be an amazing feeling so we Definitely. when we watched that first part we were like wow like this is truly inspiring, motivating. I mean, they definitely did motivate us a lot. I mean, if we, I think they most definitely did need to, you know, um, do this documentary to show the people who have their opinions about them yes. that they are not perfect and they go through stuff and they're real people with real feelings. And it's just not okay to misjudge somebody or to judge somebody based on what they look like. I mean, I know how it feels to be judged based on what I look like. So I can only imagine how they feel when they have 15 million people watching them and people that, you know, always put their names out um, in a negative way and they say what they want. And, you know, I mean, you're, it's just, it's just not, I mean, I'm not the type of person, but hey, I mean, they're huge, they're beautiful, they have two beautiful babies, I mean, Alea and Elle are just so beautiful, we're in love with them, and we just, we love them, I mean, I'm a huge fan, we've been watching them for the past three years, we watched how big they have gotten, and it's just truly inspiring, their videos are always so happy, the vibes, the energy, like, every time I would have maybe like a bad day or like a bad you know hour and i would just watch the video my frown literally turned upside down like i was like oh my god i was like they're just so sweet so nice so um these, these documentaries they definitely shed some light on what's been going on in um, their life recently and in the uh, youtube brought that with them with all the um assumptions that's going on all the um What's that to call it? It's, there's a word for it. I just can't think of it. Like, pretty much like what's been going on. It shed a lot of light on what's been going on in their life. Um, I just feel like the documentary is just just necessary um, to show another side to them that they, they don't want to bring onto their videos because I wouldn't say it's it's negative, but it's it's something that they aren't they don't they don't really show in their videos because all their videos are positive and. This just shows like another side to them that nobody has seen before that everybody always question what i love about them and i respect about them is although they went through the things that they had went through they didn't shed that much light on that because they wanted to keep it positive they wanted to help a lot of people they saw that their videos were helping people that were maybe depressed or were maybe going through stuff and to help people feel happy just to see your videos i mean it has to be an amazing feeling and you don't want to you know put up another video where it's like um drama and then have everyone like y you know feel like 
stressed out or something like that so i respect that they didn't and i i respect that their the wishes that they had to not show that because they just gave people the benefit of the doubt um on what people did to them and they rather had focused on the positive and kept it going with their life and that ha and that is like the most beautiful thing somebody can do is to focus on the positive count your blessings and leave the negative aside but i do think that this documentary was very necessary it brought up a lot of topics it brought up a lot of information that everyone was wondering and it brought up the truth about everything and it made me look at them even like in a higher 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 like position like and i'm not saying that because of like their fame or like you know like how luxurious they live i'm saying like they made me look up to them like they i look so i i how do i say that um it pretty, like it made i have them at a high spy, standard like yeah because of how they carry themselves and how they respected themselves and how they wanted to keep their families together so but anyway going into the part two um it started off you know with them sitting down and the person asking them the questions about you know like when did they realize it started getting crazy and we didn't know that all of that was going on i mean i had no idea i they did bring it up in some videos um i think only one video but i had no idea that that many people were showing up to not just their older house but their apartment i mean it was just yeah, that like I would understand like if you got fans coming up to you like on the street like you're out in public and that that's just normal and mm -hmm. that and that's probably like an amazing feeling and um if people are coming to your house like let's say like the middle of the night and you just want to like just go take out the trash or something you just can't you just feel like you can't because you feel like you're always being watched because well yeah you you feel like you can't go out and do so because they may be your fan but you never know someone's true intent like true intentions i don't know people like everything that i see out now i worry like 10 times more than what i should be worrying about only because of how crazy people are nowadays and i completely understand where Catherine and austin are coming from because they they have two beautiful babies that they have to take care of and to come out and not like i can only imagine coming out and then you know me throwing out the trash or just wanting to walk around and then there's somebody standing there i'm already creeped out by anybody that i see walking around where i live so i can only imagine somebody just staring at you and they're like hey stanley hey, stanley this and then like you don't know what they're gonna do next and i'm pretty sure you know not their families aren't malicious and i know um, and i know they don't mean no harm by it um they, they just give them the doubt and they love them they just love the ace family so much but there's um, a time and a place for everything guys like for example there's a sp uh, point in the video where there was i guess you could say it was a troll mm -hmm. going around their house and at the middle of the night it's like midnight and somebody's doing that that's gonna make you feel some type of way like you can't even be comfortable where you're at because you people know where you're living and there's people like that doing that to you so i would understand where they're i understand where they're comfortable at that aspect because that's that i don't think that's right the fact that this person came at 12 to prank someone i mean it's just not okay like it's 12 at midnight you're with your friends you're with your family you want to just have a good night and then to have somebody out there screaming your name like a maniac and just not knowing how to act it just is ridiculous and it was like austin was being pretty chill at first and i can understand why he got the way that he got because at this point i don't know you you're portraying to be someone that you're not to get me outside and i don't know what you're gonna do to me when i come outside so that was just invasion of privacy and i just don't agree with people invading people's privacy i don't agree with people watching people outside i don't like whether you're a fan or not it's just not okay guys like it's not that's your home you wanted to make it homey you want to make you want to feel comfortable you want to feel calm you want to feel safe and to have that many people know where you live at it's scary like yeah. I limit my friends now to to me letting who and who know where I live at because of the things that I've been through. Yes, back then. and Kim's been through a lot. Of, and, yeah. Of, like a lot of people knew where she lived in the past and she actually had a point in her life where she felt like she was being followed and she was being followed, but I'll let her explain that. Yeah, so there was a point um, when I was in high school, and I'll, I'll do a story time about it if you guys want to know because I'm not going to get too into depth about it right now. But I actually was being followed for about a week um, for someone to do harm to me. And um, when the situation happened, 
I didn't feel safe anymore. I felt like I could I didn't want to leave my house. Like I just did it because to feel like to know that someone followed you for a whole week to see what move you made at what time to find the great to find the opportunity to do what they did. It just it literally I felt like disgusted. I felt very like nervous every time I heard a little noise outside of my window I felt like I couldn't sleep like I, I was con consistently looking out my window to see who was there what was there what was going on what is that noise how did that noise happen how is you know this happening like I didn't feel safe and to this day I don't feel like that's when I live with my parents and to this day whenever I even pass by where I used to live at I get like I feel some type of way so when Catherine and Austin were bringing that up I 100% understand where you guys are coming from, like 100%. And thank God for me, it was a couple times. It wasn't fans. It was people that were trying to do stuff to me or that were trying to do stuff to my car. And to, like, you know, thank God nothing like that happened to them. I mean, their house did get breaking into, and that was scary. That was a huge violation that no one should ever, ever, it's a huge ever violation of privacy at that. Invasion, that, yeah. Yeah, invasion of privacy. So, um, you never want that to happen. I don't, like... It's just a scary feeling to have, like, at this point, like, you felt like this is the home for you, but then you have to pack your stuff up and go again. Like, m moving so much can also probably, like, break down your mental state, too, because you're literally packing up and going, packing up and going. It's just, like, you never feel like you're at home. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't just say, oh, yes, this is my home. I want to be here forever. And, like, no, I got to get up and go because I just don't feel comfortable here no more. And it's just something that you shouldn't have to do all the time. So I don't agree with people who are saying they're over exaggerating about them feeling like they weren't safe. I mean, it's you if you've never been through it, you won't understand point blank period. You won't. And that's fine. But that doesn't mean you have to talk about them and say that they're being over dramatic or they're being melodramatic. It's just no, because you don't know what they're going through. And they're real humans with real feelings. And I know when someone, when trolls, they love to be, they love to troll around. But as soon as somebody says something to them, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have the same strength that the Ace feeling has had to keep going and to keep looking forward and not pay attention and to And just that. keeping everything positive like they have. Like they, they, yeah. I mean, they didn't know that it was going to get this, you know, it was going to get like how they are now. They didn't know that they didn't know they didn't count with having a huge fan base. And I can see why it would be a little overwhelming to go to a store to have to get something that you're therefore at the moment and then have millions of people come up to you in public and then this person and that person and they're very 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 nice enough to you know like you know say hi to them and stuff and chat with them i mean that's just amazing because like, anybody it's else probably like, like, it's probably a great feeling like knowing that you have so many people coming up to you and saying hey i i, I want to take a picture with you i'm gonna uh, like they will they want to greet you it's probably a great feeling but at the same time it's like it's also like it, i gotta go guys like you, you know? gotta be mentally strong so I, I give them credit for that yeah because with with me like i work at a bank and when i have customers coming up when they see me with my name tag and they ask me a bunch of questions and i'm at a store and i'm like oh my god like i'm just trying to get this and go like i don't have time right now to stay here and talk about whatever you know what i mean yeah. and i can see where they're coming from as well they also pointed out something that we would like to touch you know like give a little touch base on. speech about so um catherine did mention that people always misju misjudge them and say that they are doing youtube just for the money or they started doing youtube just for the money she did mention that you know like th that's not the case because with youtube you have to reach a requirement like certain requirements in order to start getting paid it's not like immediately you make a video and then boom you start getting you know millions of you know m dollars and stuff it's not like that at all and when back in august so we did a video um with their title with their name in our title which was our mistake after we seen these documentaries we're like oh like okay we shouldn't have done that yeah. and we truly do apologize um they have a strong fan base of course we got some we definitely comments. felt the strong fan base and like give them credit yo like they got such I'm, a strong fan base they do yeah, however i, I don't credit. agree with what what with what their comments were saying we because don't. we were being rude. told yeah. that that was their name was paying our bills and that's not the case and i'm glad Catherine brought this up because people need to be educated on the fact that it really doesn't work like that and to say something like that is just not okay and we at that point at that moment when we seen how many people were coming at us we were like oh like so 
Like, you know, it didn't feel good. It's not a good feeling. And of course it gets to you. It's people, random people's opinions that are writing stuff, you know, behind a computer, behind a phone. But it does get to you. So I can see where they're coming from when they say you have millions of people's opinions. And no matter what you do, someone will always try to make something bigger than what it was. And something the out of it. The point of that video, it was to shed light on something that happened to us. And, as, and come to find out that it also happened to... Uh, other um creators on the youtube platform as well mm -hmm. so i felt like that video shed light on a whole other subject that we needed that, that we felt that, the need that we felt the need to, to share. bring it up to the community yes. because we didn't want people to other people to go through what we went through exactly yeah however we felt no harm by it and that's exactly why we didn't mention anything about the ace family because we like the ace family we are huge fans we respect them um, we hold them at a high standard. I mean, they have a beautiful found family and they have built a strong fan base. I mean, it's just they're very inspiring. So we wanted to bring that up because, I mean, now as we weren't going to go through each comment and comment and explain to you guys how YouTube works. But I'm glad Catherine brought that up because it's true. You don't just get paid just because it takes a while for you to get a long time. to where you want to yes. be, which is why we also respect that they said they made they took risk to get to where they are at because I know I would never like be, like you know like one of the videos at, that they did it was like they stayed overnight at a trampoline park like that's scary like like, like but they did that, that's stuff a risk. like that because it, it was a it was like it was a risk content. But, it was content and, that they had to get out but when yeah. they mentioned that they uh, moved to an apartment where they paid 3k at I was just like I, was I like, don't wow, think that's, that's a lot but they knew they had to do that to get to where they're at. That's so true. they have worked very hard to get to where they're at. And I don't agree with what people say, um, the negative stuff. And I don't agree. I just don't agree with it. Like, I'm not going to give an opinion out just because I feel like, you know, like if I don't like somebody, I'm not going to make a whole video of it and be like, oh, da 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 da. Like, no, 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 no. Because I don't know what they go through behind doors. I mean, they, they can show a smile on camera, but behind doors they could be sad and it's sad because they also mentioned that they have had friends that they wanted you know to be a part of their team and they ended up turning their back on them basically from what i gathered and you know it's sad because sometimes you feel like that person wants to be your friend because they you know they genuinely like you but then you know they want something out of you and we know how that feels too because we have we have had and we still do have friends that we notice that they always want something out of us and not they're not genuinely our friends because they want to be but because of what they can get out of us so to see that they have to start doing contracts now to basically make sure that their families no harm it's just sad it's it, just really sad it's just very disheartening mm -hmm. it's like i thought you were in this we we're all in this together not just for you to get something out of me so it's just i just it's just hard and then it backfires guys like i don't understand why people are friends with some people just because of what they can get because at the end of the day it's gonna backfire on you i mean you don't have genuine intentions you're dishonest and karma is karma and i've seen it happen i've seen people that take advantage of good people and then th things happen to them and they're like oh why does everything bad happen to me well because of what you did to that people so when they presented that i was just like that has to be sad because you can't even hang out with people anymore because you don't know if they're gonna take a picture of your pri private stuff and then send it out to people just to get views or you don't know if people are you know taking pictures of your daughter just to get views on that or you don't know if, you know people just want to hang out with you just so they can get just views. to get views and or just get you know buzz you know. yeah and that's why we felt you know like it was a mistake for us to have put their name in our title because we didn't want views but we did want to make people aware of it but now we understand that to them it's not like that it looks a whole nother way so but i mean it's just i mean i felt like they needed to do this documentary i respect them even more and now i see they're genuinely humble people that have worked hard to where they are at and they deserve what they like you know the strong families that they have they deserve it because they they're known for positive people they're known for giving stuff out oh excuse me yeah, they're known for getting the stuff out, um, especially those who are less fortunate. And I, I know they, they understand what those people who are less fortunate because they came from that. So, and yeah. they, they built what they have from hard work and dedication and, to what they want to do. To and I know people call them like saying that they're materialistic, but if you guys are, you guys are not true family, ACM members, if you haven't noticed how 
they have changed in a good way they appreciate everything that they have now and they sit back and they look at it because they feel accomplished and they feel you know like amazed by how big they got because i remember when austin first did he did a prank um on his dad about the car and Catherine was like oh my god people who have the luxury of having a backup camera it's just like a good feeling like i don't know exactly how she said it but she said that and then now they have a car that has that so i'm like that's crazy because she was talking about how people who have a backup camera is like a good thing and now look at them they have grown so much and i i know it has to be an amazing feeling because even me i started working at mcdonald's so to see where i'm at now i'm just like oh damn like yeah, I feel just, just looking at like where we're at now compared to where we're at a few years ago, it, it's a good feeling for us too. So I mean, it's not that they're materialistic; it's no. just that they're appreciating and they're just and they have worked hard and they have earned everything that they have. So people can't be mad. Like I can't be mad at you for doing better than me because you know, like you did something to get there. I can't be mad. I, I'm gonna be motivated, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna pray on their, on their downfall and I'm not gonna find a reason to dislike them. If I mean, anything, we're just gonna congratulate you and just say, hey, how did you do this? Because we wanna be with you up there with you. We wanna win. We all wanna win together. We don't wanna lose. You yeah, know, guys. But we anyway, don't wanna pray on nobody's downfall because no, absolutely not. Negative. And we, we just don't hope, want that. Yeah, we just hope that they keep growing. We hope that. All this negativity that people try to bring to them doesn't get to them because negative vibes are, you know, they get They're to huge. people. Yep. So, but we really like them and, you know, we wanted to do this reaction video because we wanted to touch base on what they talked about and how we related to it. And, but anyway, um, that is the end of the video. Um, I hope we did a good job on our first reaction video. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I never done yeah, one. Yeah, we, we never done one. in here, guys. No, it sucks. I hate this stuff. Well, those of you who like this now, I don't know. I don't know to tell you because I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, we want to give our IK shout to Larissa McCord. Shout out to you, Thank Ms. you Larissa so much McCord. for always being so consistent yes. with watching our videos and, and commenting comments. every single time. We love you. We see you all the time. So we, we appreciate, appreciate you. you. We appreciate the small families yes. that we have and the people who consistently watch us. It truly does mean to a lot to us. Like it, yes. so humbling yes. to see the people that are so consistent with watching us. Like to where we're at now compared to a couple months ago, it's just like wow. Like I. Even I, it, yeah, it, just, it means a lot to us. Yeah, I mean, it may like, not be a lot to other people, but it truly does mean a lot to us. And but. it's very humbling, like I said, in every video I would say it's always very humbling to this because I see um, more people come to our channel and we appreciate it a lot. Yeah, guys. Honest from the bottom of our hearts. We also do have another reaction. Anyway, guys, we have another video, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.